Hey everybody, welcome to Raincross Farm Smakery. Look, there it is. There again. it is. What is what again? I got a suspicion we might have been going live again. I think it's that weird connection. I don't know what's going we, on. Uh, are, we are we dead in the water? There you are. Okay. Am I here? You're there. Am I here? I think we're, you're there. We're having trouble with Facebook. It's Facebook. Nothing, it's not nothing new, right? Time. So, hello, hang with us. If for some reason we cut off, we will try again. But in the meantime, we're going to go with it. Um, again, welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. I'm Robin, and behind the camera, behind the computer, frustrated with Facebook, is my husband Bill. We are coming to you just outside of Lewiston, Idaho, and we have a fun craft project to show you tonight to give you a little bit of inspiration. So I'm going to... I do have my monitor back, but I am going to pull this up on my phone, maybe. Is that? There it is. Well, Liana's already here with us. Hey, Liana. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay, hop on when you, when you, when you get here. Say hello. Let us know you're watching. If you are, if you are seeing the red box that says live you're watching us live if it's not there it's the replay but that's okay just comment hashtag replay so we'll know when you were with us so thanks so much for being here we would super appreciate it if you would help us out by loving our page following our page if you're not already sprinkling it out to your page to any craft groups that you belong to that accept live videos and we would certainly appreciate it. This supports anybody who's on Facebook uh, trying to build a business. And we also have our stars activated, and we appreciate all of your support. Got all that stuff done. So tonight, I was thinking I was going to get my new box, my box of brand of the brand new things from the, the brand new catalog that just released last week. And it did get here, but it got here too late for me to have planned out a project. So it's upstairs. I haven't even opened it. I think we'll open it up again on, li on a live tomorrow. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you a fun project that I've kind of put on the back burner and hadn't been feeling too well. So we're going to do it tonight. We are going to make a birthday cake, but it doesn't have any calories. You don't have to heat up your oven. Here is our birthday cake. Look at this. This is one of our Big Daddy transfers. It is called Birthday Cake. Sadly, this is out of stock. They are working to restock it, but it's going to be a while. I do have one extra, so if you see this and you like it and you really, really want it, you got to hit me up and let me know, and I can get it off to you. Hi, Cindy. Welcome. Anyway, so we're going to do this. And we are going to do this with the help of our friends at Not Just Frames because they are a company that creates wood cutouts, um, just generally wood cutouts and, and not just frames. But they also do, they're not affiliated with Chalk Couture, but they use some of their transfers and cut out wood pieces to match the transfers. And this is one that they have. They have the birthday cake cut out. So we are going to, we're going to dress this up. We're going to use, we're going to use this transfer. Now there's also, there's this piece and then there's this piece that makes it stand. Is that not cool? Look at that. And then there's all of these pieces that you can decorate and glue on to give it some dimension. Here is some drips and kind of kind of matches this. It's not a perfect match. Like um, these little things are not a perfect match, so I can't just chalk on these because it, it doesn't match up perfectly. But we're gonna we're gonna make it work. So I've got that. It also comes, look at these cute little candles. That's what these little slotches are for, is to put in candles. Is that not just the cutest thing? Anyway, so we are going to do that. I noticed on, on their website online, they have this. They also have this little banner that goes with the 
celebrate, what I thought I could do with this is um, glue it to some bamboo skewers and chalk it up and then actually put it in as a cake topper on a real, on a real cake. And then, let's see, and it also comes with the pieces for this transfer, the bake me a cake as fast as you can. And we did this the other day. So let's get to going. I've gotten some of this started. Pardon me, I dropped my transfer. I've gotten some of this started, painted, because I know how much you love to watch me paint and watch the paint dry. Now I will tell you this gets a little snug when it's painted. So here's what, here's what I think we'll do. On one side of this, uh, we are going to decoupage with our tissue paper. That's going to be cool. And then on the other side, we are going to chalk up all the designs. So let me see, I kind of have this working out in my mind. Yes, calorie free cake. I thought this would be so neat. I don't know if you remember, if it was just me, but when I was a little girl in Sunday school, when you had a birthday, they didn't have a birthday cake for you, but they had this little plastic birthday cake thing that they would bring out and everybody would sing happy birthday to you. It was really cute. I thought that would be adorable to have if you're a Sunday school teacher, if you're a regular school teacher, just have this put away in your closet and then when, when a student has a birthday, pull it out, sing happy birthday, and you've, you've got a birthday cake for them. Okay, now I'm going to cut this down because this is just too big too big to deal with. So I'm going to cut this apart. And because it's so big, I'm going to just completely cut the backer and everything. So this is our one of our biggest transfers. It's the E size. It is uh, what is it? 18 by 24. But this is in lots of different parts, lots of different pieces. You can mix and match. But I'm really just going to cut out this cake and set that aside. Okay, so I, what I want to start with is I want to start this part as a like a little tray. Hey, Kay, welcome. Um, this part as, as like a, a silver tray that your cake is sitting on. Okay, and again, I'm so sorry this is out of stock, but again, I have, I have at least one of these available if anybody's interested. So I'm going to peel that off, and I'm going to fuzz it because this is the first time I've used it. Don't like using things that are out of stock, but... Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Besides, my birthday's next month. I want my own birthday cake. Yes, that would be great for a classroom cake. How you, you uh, forget that it's a kid's birthday and they come in, and guess what, today's my birthday. You say, I know, I've got a cake for you. After recess, I'll bring it out. You'll be, you'll be a star. Okay. okay. Yes, and it, you can store it flat. You can uh, put it in a baggie to store it, keep it nice. Okay, so I am just going to, on this first side, I'm just going to chalk the silver part. I'm going to do it in silver. I'm going to do it in our shimmer silver. And I just painted this. So I am going to, let's see, I'm going to wax it because I don't want this stickiness to pull up my transfer. Now there's not a ton of sticky on this little section, so I'm not going to put too much wax. But this is an adorable little cutout. Um, you could, you could definitely chalk it on, on a, a big frame, on a big board. I don't need my water bottle. 
Oh, that's my vinegar water. Never mind. I don't need it. Okay, so I'm going to wax this bit, and then I'm going to put this down. You know, I kind of feel like, I didn't wax all the way up here. I kind of feel like this is a hot mess tonight. We're gonna, we're just gonna wing it. You guys, you guys love me anyway, even if I am a hot mess, right? So I'm going to lay this. Kay says, down. well, with all the food issues nowadays, it's safe for everyone. Else. That's true. It's, it's gluten free. There's no peanuts. Okay. So I'm gonna push this down. It kind of makes a nice little border. Silver paste, squeegee, and I can see this needs just a little bit of a stir. Yes, that is so true, Kay. Okay, let's silver paste. This is our shimmer silver, so it's got a little bit of glittery uh, mica powder in it. So give it a little bit of a sparkle. So we have a fancy cake on a silver, silver tray. Some of my designers that are out there, if anybody's out there, do you have this transfer? I don't know how many of you got it. This is from the last, this isn't a brand new one, but they still, it looks like they're still bringing it back because it's showing a restocking date sometime in August, which is coming up very soon, is it not? Can you believe July is almost over? have friends who I used to teach with. I used to, I'm a retired school teacher back from when I lived in California. And I'm watching my Facebook friends getting ready to go back to school. And some of them are going back to school the first week in August. That just, that's just amazing. Where did the summer go? What time, what, when does your school start? Okay, Liana doesn't have it. Peel this up. Ooh, pretty, pretty. pretty. I'm going to lay that down. I'm going to give it a quick little dry. When do you, when do your schools go back into session? I know, Kay, you homeschool, so when do you usually start up? And Liana, you have kiddos too. When does your school start? In Oklahoma. Kay is in Texas. We, when I was growing up, my school always started the Monday after Labor Day. No, the Thursday after Labor Day. August was 18th. It, was it the Thursday after Labor Day? Okay, Kay, you just go year-round, Liana, 18th of August to be a sophomore. Wow. Okay. I remember we okay, had so that sophomores looks right. one time. Yep. Okay. That was a few years ago. I'm, I'm going to end up reusing this. So while that continues to dry, I'm going to clean this real quick, just so it's ready to go when I use it again. And so I'm going to start with either a paper towel or a Swedish dishcloth. I've just sprayed this with water, and this is just going to get that top layer of paste off. I feel that it saves a little wear and tear on my board erasers to get that first layer off with this. And then I'm going to switch over to my board eraser. 
which is like a magic eraser, but no chemicals. You do not want chemicals on these transfers. And I'm going to flip this over to the back. And clean that out. Once my screen is clean, I am good to go. I'm going to let it dry. I normally let them air dry kind of as we feel like it. We take time. That's, that's kind of the benefit of homeschool. Speed through it as fast as you want. Take some extra time off. Catch it up. Okay. Um, what we're going to do on this side is we're going to use this tissue paper. I got this at Hobby Lobby. We are going to do that, that uh, iron-on Mod Podge decoupage technique. And look at this cute tissue paper. It, does, it looks like Funfetti. So we're going to have a Funfetti cake. My kids, make sure I only have one layer of this. My children, my who are now doing this, 35, 37, <clears throat> their favorite birthday cake is either confetti cake with strawberry frosting or strawberry cake with funfetti frosting. Okay, so I got that. I'm going to set this aside and we're going to put down a layer of Mod Podge. So here I've got my Mod Podge, Mod Podge, and I don't want to, I don't want to Mod Podge over where I chopped. So I'm going to put down some placement tape. Hi Brenda, welcome. We are making, if you just hopped on, we are making a calorie free no bake, no turn on your oven birthday cake using our birthday cake transfer and our cutouts that we got from not just frames. I believe their link, if you're interested, their link can be found in the pinned comment or Mr. Bill might just put it up there. Oh, I missed that comment. Simon would be a junior this year if we did the great thing. Well, that's, you know, I have always thought that that would be the smart way to revamp the school systems. If, if a kiddo is struggling in reading, stop advancing him to upper grades where the reading gets harder and harder and harder and harder. But yet, maybe they're doing fine in math and they need their math at grade level or above. So. I always thought it would make sense to do it in units. And when you passed your reading unit, you went to the next level. When you passed your math unit, you went to the next level. That way you might be at a third grade reading level, but you might be at a fifth grade math level. Does that, does that not make sense? Okay, so Mod Podge, I am using, I'm using the mat, but it doesn't matter. You can use matte, you can use gloss. I assume you could probably use the outdoor. I just use the basic, and I happen to be using matte because it's not going to show at all. I'm really just using it as a glue, and I'm making sure I get to all the edges. But, you know, I'm not in charge of the school system. So, nobody, nobody asked my opinion. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I get together with some of my fellow teachers and we solve all the world's problems. layer of Mod Podge. Now one technique is to put your tissue paper down on it while the Mod Podge is wet, which 
is okay, but I don't like fighting with the wrinkles that that ends up causing. So I like this method where you heat it. I have it everywhere and it's drying and that's okay that it's drying because I'm going to dry it now. <clears throat> so if you're on, hop on, say hello. I like knowing who's out there. This now. Now I'm going to do this with tissue paper, a napkin, or wrapping paper, or I've even seen people do it with scrapbook paper. So whatever sounds good to you is a-okay. Okay, so I've got that dry, and now I'm going to lay down my tissue paper, and I'm going to trim some of this because I don't need kind of a big old, big old piece. I don't need that much. This is for another project. Our favorite method. Yes, yes, I agree. I've tried it with the wet and it just okay. I'm going to I was I was thinking I was thinking I'd just do it on this surface, but I'm gonna put my heat pad down just because I want to be a good example because I don't want to scorch my my Putting that underneath. Now I'm using the line of this right here so I don't have to trim it there. And I'm just kind of pushing that down. It's not sticking because the Mod Podge is dry, but I want to make sure I don't have any wrinkles. Now next I'm going to get out some parchment paper. Okay, not wax paper, parchment paper, and I'm going to put this down over the top of it. This is going to protect my iron because sometimes the inks in this, in napkins or the tissue paper, when it's a, when heat applies to it, it, it kind of melts the, the, the ink. So I don't want to get the ink on the butt, on the base of my little iron. So I'm going to use my little, oops, I'm going to use my little, Cricut mini press, you can just, you can use a regular household iron. And it's on medium low. And I'm just pressing this down. What I'm doing is reactivating with the heat. I'm reactivating the Mod Podge. And it is sticking to the tissue paper. Yay, tissue paper. Yay, Mod Podge. she warped one of her mats. Oh, yeah, I did that too. And then you know what I did? I took, I did it with my big, <laughs> I, I took it, <laughs> put it back down again, <laughs> rewarmed it up and then put something really heavy and flat on the top of it. So I, I was able to salvage it. Okay, so I'm going to check here. I'm just going to check the edges to make sure that adhered. That one little edge I probably need to hit again. That little edge. Okay, I think we are good. Set that aside. And now to, I could cut it, it's a mess. So I'm going to use my sanding block and I'm going to just take it straight down on that edge. And it's, 
it's like you trim it off right at that edge. I'm not too worried about where those um, candles go because we're actually going to have a, a, a wooden piece over the top of that. Deanna says her favorite cake is yellow cake with chocolate icing. Ooh. I can picture it. I can almost taste it. We had this, we had this discussion when we did our other cake project. And the, the, the popular cake that night was the German chocolate German chocolate and carrot were the, were the, the winners that evening. Okay, well, the carrot cake is still one of my favorites. Okay. Now, if I wanted to get rid of, am I over the top? If I wanted to get rid of these in here, there's a couple ways I could do it. I could use an X-Acto knife. You can kind of see. I could use an X-Acto knife and cut them out. I could I could use like um, an emery board and get them out, or I could use the burn method where I could light that on fire and it would burn out. Trust me, it really does work. But like I said, this is going to this piece is going to go over the top of that, so it's not going to matter. So I'm just going to leave it. Okay. So here is where am I? Here is my cake. Does that look like a funfetti cake? It's so cute. It's so cute. Okay. Marianne says hello. Hello. How are you, Marianne? We are making, we're making a cake. Okay, let's see. Now, let's see. This is going to go up top here. And then this is going to go here. And you know what? I really didn't need to do that. Boop, 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 boop. I didn't need to do that because that comes in a different color. And again, she got her cutouts from not just frames. Not just frames. Okay. So, so here is, here is my cake. <clears throat> I'm debating whether I want to paint that silver. I can do that. Okay. So let's see, what colors am I going to pull out of here? The colors I'm going to use on the back side are teal, coral. I think those would go with that. Teal, coral, and ooh, and there's a yellow in there. So I think I'm gonna pull out my yellow. And that's what we're gonna do these these icing colors. So let's get out my yellow and I'm gonna use this like paint. I'm gonna get a little stir stick because that needs a little bit of a stir. We weren't going to do too much painting, but we are going to do some painting. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit. That lid's kind of cruddy. So I'm going to put a little bit of my paste here. And it's a little bit on the thin side anyway. Get the paintbrush. And up. Let me see if I if I need to dilute this. No, I think that's good. So I'm just using this as as paint. It's like I said, it's a little bit on the thinner side. It's generally a little bit thicker, but because it's thin, I I didn't dilute it. I'm just putting it straight on the board. Kate says, my mom made the best cake. She made a strawberry cake and left it in a pan and poked holes in the back of a spoon and poured jam. It had been cooked down a little bit. Then topped it with whipped cream and chilled Ooh. it in the fridge. I remember. Is that I think like, like Jello. My mom did that with Jello. It was called a Jello poke cake. Yeah, I think I remember mm -hmm. your mom doing that. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds good now. We still have cherry pie up in the fridge. We need to finish. Okay, so here's going to be my little top. And I didn't need all of this. So I'm gonna put this back in the jar. Now if I had diluted this, I would have I would have used distilled water. 
That way, when I put it back in the jar, it doesn't, it's not going to grow any little germy things. Okay, next one. I need another paintbrush. Okay, let's do, let's do our teal. And this one needs a little stir. You know, the weather is kind of, the weather's kind of heating up, and so the pastes are needing a little bit more attention. Okay, and this lid is pretty clean. Dilute that. No, well, I think that's good too. This is going to be so fun, and I have the next birthday coming up in our family. Ooh. Next month is my birthday month. I think, is Kay, is this still your birthday month? Or were you June? I can't remember. I know it was recently, but I can't remember. Time has no meaning to me anymore. I don't know if it was... So does that mean I have to buy you a birthday present again? Yes. Every year? Every year. Because if you don't, I will. But I happen to know you bought me a birthday present this year. Because I had to transfer the money. Mm -hmm. yep. Birthday present that you're probably going to use a lot more than I am. Okay, so here's no, our gonna teal. you're going to make me use it a lot more I'm going to make do. you use it. Some of you might have an idea what I'm talking about. And others are just... Clueless? Foaming, wanting Foam, to know. Yes, okay. Now I'm starting to get paint on me. Okay, and we haven't even got to the, to the chalking side yet. That should go pretty fast, though. You might have to do it two-nighter. Yeah. We're good. Okay, and our coral. This looks like it's in pretty good shape. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use it from the jar. No, nope, you know what? I'm gonna, I take that back. That is a little bit thick. I'm going to thin this down. Says I gotta go get things ready to go on. Can't okay. To I'll be I'll be looking for your live. She also wants to know did you get what you what I think you got? I hope so. You probably have an idea. Yes. For much research. So we'll we'll have to be sharing files, girl. I think that ought to be part of the standard starter kit. Oh wait, we don't have starter kits anymore. If you're watching and you didn't know that, see you later, Kay. And I mean, I may really actually see you later. Well, not in person, online. If you are, if you haven't watched for a while, or if you haven't heard, there is a whole new way to join Chalk Couture. Of course, you could become a club member, but if you have ever thought about becoming a designer and getting the 40% off discount, they have made it so easy. They have made it so that you can become a designer for an uh, enrollment fee of $9.99, not $999, $9.99. So if you're if you're interested in any of that information, let me know and I will I will send you to my live or to my special Facebook page that gives information. Okay, what did I decide to do? I think what I'm gonna do is I didn't I forgot about that. So I'm gonna paint this in silver and I have some silver some silver acrylic paint. I'm going to let me see if I can paint this.
this up in silver real quick. Might need a couple of coats. Now I could use my paste to paint this silver, but let me tell you, the shimmers don't cover really well on bare wood. They need to have a, a similar color background, primer. A, a primer, because on their own, they're, they're pretty translucent. That might be the look you want. Inside some of those little holes. We'll put another coat on this later. Going to go across the top. So we're going to glue these puppies down, then we're going to work on the other side. I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll put another coat on it. Okay, let me make sure these are dry. Lana, all afternoon, that's no good. Were you leading it, or were you, you training? Oh, I don't know which is worse, sitting through or leading an all afternoon training. I am so glad I don't have those anymore. We are good. We are good. I don't know. Bill hasn't announced it. <laughs> he was at the doctor again today. Not only did he get his stitches out, but <laughs> he had a run-in with a bee. And apparently... Apparently, it left part of the stinger. It, he got it in the forehead, and it left part of the stinger. Is it okay that I tell this? No. So, he did it two, three days ago? Two or three? Tuesday evening. Tuesday night. So, three days ago, he got stung by a bee. It swelled up a little bit. And then the next day, it was swollen even more. And then today, it's like he couldn't even open up his eye. So... We didn't know what was going on. He went to the doctor and apparently there was part of the stinger still stuck in his forehead. So I think his swelling has gone down a bit already. Okay, so this definitely goes up here. So I'm going to To get another blue stick. Lana says she was doing training on dealing with suicidal clients. It was mm -hmm. fun. Oh boy. I'm not believing her. Okay, so this doesn't need a lot of glue to stick. Do want to make sure I have it centered and lined up. Cute, cute, cute. Now, do I want the pink? Do I want it this way? Do I want it this way? Not that way. Okay. So, some glue right here. some glue. This one I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and I'm going to put it right there. <clears throat> hey, is that not cute? Lana says she's a golden retriever. Cute, cute, cute. She can make fun out of anything. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Uh, let's see. Cute. What next? That's so okay. cute. So that is this side. And we are, I'm going to show you this. I'm going to, I'm, I'll paint these up later. But looky, looky, looky. Are you, are you forward now? 
Looky, looky, looky. Little, this little light of mine. That just popped out. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Okay, oh, and that's, the, I know what it is. That's got glue on the back of it. And I dropped a candle. That's not a candle. That's a. Did you lose a candle? I lost a candle. Under your left foot. Nope, that's not it. I thought that was it. Oh, underneath the no, under the chair directly. Nope. All right, tell you what, you keep it. going. Oh, I found it. You, sit, you okay. just keep going. Okay. It this is there. part of a clothespin. Okay, so we're going to do this side next, and got some hot glue on the back there. So that doesn't want to stick down. Thank you. Don't be throwing candles at me. Uh, it's your birthday month. <laughs> okay, let me just pick some of that out. Right, Duke. Okay. You coming up? Come on, buddy. I'll give you a snuggle. There's my boy. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, while I've got it, I'm going to give this another coat. And we're going to get our transfer back out. chalk this side. If all of you forgot the important stuff. Um, this is, oh, that's not this is never mind. Sorry about that. It's the wrong thing. Okay. I was going to show them a picture of Duke and Daisy, oh. but I can't do it at the moment. <laughs> okay. And then you know what? I'm going to Okay, so when you glue this down, don't put hot glue on the entire back. Don't put glue, hot glue on what? On the entire back of it, because then it's going to leave a bump and your candles are not going to sit flat. Oh, that could be a problem. Okay. So Alana, she says that's so cute and she's very impressed. <laughs> so Robin got this cut out from, what's the name of the dump? Not frame. just frames. Not it's not a frames. dump. It's not a dump. Okay. So there's not a ton of sticky stuff on this transfer. It's mostly screen. And I don't think I waxed it, so I'm going to wax this. Because I painted this. And, and I'm purposely leaving those candles in there. this so that my sticky transfer doesn't pull up the paint that I just so carefully painted. So I've got some wax on. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to take some of that wax, any of that excess wax off. How are we doing? 45 minutes. That hasn't been all that long. Okay. Okay, so let's take this and we are going to place it down here as centered as we can. because I'm going to chalk to chalk over those candles. To be honest, I chalked my first etched sunflower today. Ooh. It turned out so good. I'll post pictures. You need to. Okay, so again, where you see white, that is just screen, so there's no adhesive on that. You know what, I'm going to take those out and we will 
We'll work on that later. Trying to decide what I'm doing. No, I'm going to take them out. Okay, so I've got that pushed down as well as I can, and I'm going to again do the the tray part in silver. So I've got my shimmer silver. So this way it will match the other side. I'm also going to I'm also going to put silver on these matching pieces here that that become the part of the stand. Got that down and going to with with shimmer paste i have a little extra drying time but i'm going to go ahead and paste and peel this so it doesn't dry in my screen and i'm just going to now this is a um embossing gun so it gets really hot so I need to keep it far away from my transfer okay. and I'm not going to push back down where I've already chalked I'm just going to push back down here where I still have to okay and the top I was going to do the top in shimmer harvest it'll give a little bit of sparkle to that top layer of cake Love this shimmer harvest color. Still have anybody watching? Have I no, have I have watching. I mesmerized everyone? Okay. So again, I, I, oops, I really apologize that I am showing you a transfer that is out of stock. But never fear, I believe they are working to bring it back in stock. And if you really, really want it, I have an extra up for sale that I can send you. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to stick these in. Just debating when to do those. I think I better do them now. This won't look right. Marianne, you're enjoying it. Yay! Okay, so let me... Put a little bit of that on those holes. Scrape that back in the jar. And I'm going to clean off my fingers. Bill says, hello, Sylvia. You must be on watching. Oh, I just saw her okay. pop up. Woo! I just like Sylvia in my Look at that. I like that. I love those little dots. I'm going to paste and peel. And I'm just going to give that a quick little dry. And now I'm going to do the two Yay, center parts. Two. Hi, okay, what? Let's see. What color did I do this? I did the pink up top. 
Oh, let's see. Pink up top. Coral up top. And this is pretty thick. I'm going to I'm going to thin this out a little bit. So I'm going to spray in some distilled water and stir it up. You kind of need to get to know the consistency of your paste. It shouldn't be super thin like paint, but it shouldn't be it should be like pudding or sour cream or Greek yogurt. Shouldn't taste like Greek yogurt. It shouldn't. Though, right? No. no. Well, honestly, I've never tasted it, but I don't imagine it doesn't smell like it would taste like Greek yogurt. That's probably a good thing that you haven't tasted it then. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Pink, 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 pink. pink. What are you sending? I sent my photo to, oh, uh, you're... to Alana and she said, ouch. Yep. Those little dots. had a run-in with a bee, Lee. <laughs> so, just so you know. And it took three days of swelling up. It's been fun, to say the least. Okay. So, I've got the pink done. And real quick, I'm going to do the teal. Before I, before I lift it up. I did. I was trying not to mix the pink with that teal, but I think I got some. That's okay. Frosting sometimes does that, right? So what kind of frosting would that be if in the salmon frosting? It would just be buttercream. Like salmon. Yeah, it tastes like salmon. It tastes like salmon. Fish flavored frosting. Yum, yum. <clears throat> okay. Scrape that off. Put that away, and we are ready to reveal. It's so cute. It is so cute. That is so cute. Okay. And let me clean up a bit here. Do, 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 do. Cleaning up all my paste. Cleaning it up. <laughs> Yuck. Daisy wants Salmon. <laughs> well, it might be a fish lover's birthday party. Okay. Oh, you know what? I probably still needed that silver out, but. I'll explain what I'm going to do and then I'll do it later. Okay. I'm going to spray this because I'm not ready to clean it. And this way the paste won't dry in the screen and make it harder to clean. That will kind of keep it damp. But here is, here is our chalked side. And I'm going to have to find a better way to hold those in. Okay, I'm going to take those off so it will look a little unfinished. Okay, to the front, to the front, to the front, to the front, okay. So here is our chalked side, and here is our um, Mod Podge decoupage side. And I'm going so he doesn't to... like the idea of, of a salmon flavor. Hmm, maybe for a cat's birthday. Jerry says how amazing, great job, Judy. 
Ooh. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, Cindy, we're going to go with it's a cat's birthday cake. It's got a salmon flavored frosting. Now, I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to let you guys go, but there's this little piece here that hooks in down here, and it's really tight because of the paste, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to chalk that in silver, and there, it's, it stands up, and I will... I will finish painting my candles a little bit later. Marianne says very cleaver. Very cleaver? Uh-huh. And Liana says both sides turned out great. There you go. So two-sided, two-sided, woo, birthday cake with, with candles falling about. But I think it's cute. I think it would be great to have on hand for birthdays that come up and then you don't have to you don't have to bake a cake because here you got your cake anyway i hope you like that That's again all you're getting for your birthday the you know. frame whoops okay you've had enough of that <laughs> what i what i did is when i put this piece on i put hot glue all across it well now the hot glue kind of built up right inside there where the where the candles go and I need to I need to get scraping it out so that the candles will be seated properly. And I don't I haven't taken the time to do that right now. So I will work on that, get that fixed. But anyway, our cute little project. Um, the frame came from not just frames, if you're interested in it. The transfer we sell in our shop, however, it is out of stock for a couple more weeks. I do, if you really, really want one though, I do have one that I can sell and otherwise I can put you on the waiting list for when it comes back in stock. But it's a cute little project and I hope you like it. And if you have not seen all of the new things, I just got my order just a couple of minutes before we were ready to go live. So I didn't have time to um, pull out and do a project with it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come on tomorrow in the morning-ish and open up the box with you, show you everything that's in it. But if you want to, if you haven't already seen what's in the new catalog, comment the word catalog and it'll send you to, it'll send a link to you. You can take a look at all of the new autumn and winter and Christmas and Halloween items that we have in stock. They're just gorgeous. So anyway, that's the word catalog. If you have any questions, just hit me up, let me know. And I think we'll let you go. We've almost been on exactly an hour. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following our page. We're almost at 1,600 followers. I think we're like 10 away. So if you haven't followed, get to doing that. Follow our page. And thanks so much for those of you that, that have shared and uh, supported us. Oh, by the way, this is two days ago Today, the 22nd, two days ago, was our first anniversary of doing lives on Facebook. I thought that was why we were doing the birthday okay, cake. Okay, so this is our anniversary, our anniversary our cake, cake. Our birthday cake for one year of Facebook lives. So, anyway, I, I forget how many we've done. I know it's been like 200 and something. I counted it up. A couple weeks ago and I but I haven't added on the new ones so anyway thanks for sticking with us some of you who have stuck with us for the entire year let's here's to many more years and we'll let you go and let me let me pose with my cake <laughs>